In this video, let us learn about SIM cards. SIM card part 1 video. Let us discuss about agenda of this video. 1. What is SIM? 2. History of SIM card. 3. Internal structure of SIM card. 4. External structure of SIM card. 5. Why do SIM cards have a cut at one end? Let us discuss about what is SIM. SIM means Subscriber Identity Module or Subscriber Identification Module. It is an integrated circuit that is intended to securely store the international mobile subscriber identity number. IMSI, and its related key. This SIM card allows subscribers to use their mobile devices to receive calls, send SMS messages, or connect to mobile internet services. 2. History of SIM card First SIM card in the world was developed in 1991 by the German company Giesick and Devriant. This company sold first 300 SIM cards to Radiolinja, a wireless network operator. In 1992, first mobile phone with SIM card Nokia 1101 was sold. European Telecommunication Standards Institute ETSI holds most of the SIM card patents. Gamal 2 is the largest SIM manufacturer with around 15,000 employees. Now, they are working for the massive production of 5G SIM cards. In the beginning, the cost of making the SIM card is more than $1 and the size of it is similar to size of credit card. 3. Internal structure of SIM card When you try to open the SIM card, it look like this. SIM card contains CPU, RAM, ROM, EEPROM. Full forms. CPU means central processing unit. RAM means random access memory. ROM means read-only memory. EEPROM means electronically erasable and programmable read-only memory. CPU which works with 16 or 32 bit performs operations and tiny calculations. Hence, we can call it as Low power processors. SIM card RAM is of 1 to 4 kilobytes. It will run SIM card operating system and specific applications. RAM is of 6 to 64 kilobytes. It stores SIM card operating system. EEPROM is of 4 kilobytes to 128 kilobytes. It stores SIM card, user contacts, SMS, roaming information, and network provider sensible information. CPU, RAM, ROM are used for SIM card run. Whereas EEPROM is used by SIM card user and provider extensively. So, EEPROM size is printed on SIM card. 4. External structure of SIM card The main component of the SIM card is the electronic chip made from silicon with some added impurities such as phosphorus. 
The outer strip is made with metals, such as gold, to form outer layer, which makes in contact with your mobile phone. This chip is housed inside a shell made from plastic. There are eight pins in the modern SIM card. Each pin has their own importance. VCC, it provides power for SIM card processor by connecting with mobile battery. 2. RST, reset pin is used for SIM setup and also when the SIM is locked, then the reset pin is used to unlock the SIM card. Three, CLK clock. It specifies processor clock rate. Four, five, USB one and USB two. These pins are used for USB connectivity handling. Six, I/O. Input or output act as a main interface between mobile device and SIM card. Seven VPP for wireless connectivity. Eight GND ground act as a motherboard to SIM card process. 5. Why do SIM cards have a cut at one end? 6. main reason for the cut mark is to avoid the misalignment of the contacts of SIM card and mobile phone card holder pins. Pin number 1 of the SIM card to make the contact with the corresponding pin of the mobile phone. If you change the network provider, that is, Airtel to Geo likewise, then reset pin is used to reset the whole data.